Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well. And I am so excited for today's video because if you guys do not know this already, I thrift all the time. But I'm also super interested not only in clothing, but I really love home goods. I love decorating my house. I find a lot of joy in interior decorating and in finding really cool old or vintage pieces to decorate my home with. So I have some things that I've been collecting from different thrift stores, from in the bins, to share with you guys today. I spend very little money on all these pieces, but they make a huge impact in my home and they bring a lot of joy to my life. I know that I personally love seeing the pieces that other people thrift for their homes. And so I thought I'd share some more pieces with you guys. And I know a lot of you guys do like these videos. So let's start off with a bang with this piece of art I found the other day at the ReStore nearby. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with it. Now this is a large piece of art. I am so excited about this. I'm really into wooden frames and I also really like gold or bronze. And so this frame, as I pull you in closer, you're gonna be able to see there is a little bit of more ornate like filigree on the end here. This picture, I don't know what you call this. It's like a hard piece. It's not an actual like canvas material. So but the artwork itself is kind of an older style of people going on a hunt. I love this. I'm obsessed with the olden days. I'm obsessed with things that are more of like Victorian era. And so this gave me that kind of vibe and I love the frame. I think it's beautiful. I paid the most I paid for anything in this haul. I think on this piece of art, I paid $20. I think or maybe it was 25. It was 20 or 25. I got it at Restore for half off. It was supposed to be 40 or 50. This. It's going to go in my gallery wall. <laughs> I recently moved all of my really cool old paintings downstairs to my filming room. It is now in the background of all of my thrift hauls that are on racks, mostly because I did not realize that Jeremy hates all of those paintings and I think they're amazing. So now they're down there and it's made me really happy to film in my filming room. I think I'm gonna add this one also into my gallery wall. I'll probably have to move one of the other paintings but I am obsessed with these sorts of older paintings. I love it. I'm here for it. It definitely gives me like an old mansion kind of vibe and I love that. So while we're talking about my gallery wall that I've been working on, I have that piece that I'm going to go and add into it, but I have two other pieces I got very recently from the Second Avenue thrift store that I just discovered last week. So on the first trip I went there, I got this amazing piece of artwork. I think you guys saw it probably in the background of me filming in my car, but it is a depiction of the Last Supper, but it's a painting with this amazing wooden frame around it. I love it, I'm obsessed with it. It was $9.99, so I paid $10 for it, but it is a wooden frame. And so for a wooden frame like that, just in general, is it would be very expensive. So 10 bucks was not bad to pay for it. And then the other piece of art on that gallery wall, I don't think I've shown you any of these pieces of art really, but the next one I got from Second Avenue Thrift is this amazing, amazing landscape with the most gorgeous frame I have seen in a long time. I do not normally find any old pieces around me. I, I never am finding pieces that have that ornate frame that I'm looking for. I just don't know if people around here just don't like that as much or I'm not sure, but I found that there. The only thing that killed me about, is, about this is they put the price sticker on the painting itself. And as I took off that sticker, it took off layers of paint. So now I have this little spot in the bottom left where there is some paint missing, which is really upsetting, but it was only $5.99 for this painting. And it is so gorgeous. I love it. I am obsessed with the frame. It is gorgeous. So everything on this wall is thrifted. All of my other pieces of art are thrifted as well. I got another landscape in the bins. I got this portrait of a girl crying in the bins. And then the big ship painting I got at Restore, I think like for $5 a year or two ago. So I'm still working on the wall, but those pieces are all thrifted home decor. And then we're gonna spice this up. We're gonna jump over to one of my new bookshelves. I have this in my living area. But the piece I'm featuring here is this amazing, really cool old bookend that I found in the bins. I only found one of them, but I am obsessed with it as well. I had to pay pretty good money for it because it is solid. Like, I don't know if it's made out of bronze or copper. I'm not really sure what's going on. It does say 1928 engraved into the side of it, but it is the thinker and it is really pretty. I love the way it looks. I love the color of him and he is holding up my books very well. So I got him probably for about $3. 
based on weight, he's probably three to five dollars cost. And I love it. I think it's great. It's perfect for what I was looking for. And then I have these two different little croc pieces. This first one is a more yellow color. And it is just like, I don't know what you call it when this thing opens, you know what I mean? But it has a way to close it, which I think is really cool. And it just is a nice little piece. I like the color of it. I think it's a really fun piece and I, I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put this yet. I think it could be really cute like in a bathroom. It would be really cute in the kitchen, but I have a lot of decor in the kitchen as it is. Maybe I'll put her on a bookshelf. It was only $1.99 though. So I grabbed that at Second Avenue Thrift. And then on the same trip, I also grabbed this piece. I like this one, I think even better than that one. You can see my shadow on my fingers, obviously, but it is this really beautiful textured white piece. I'm gonna pull you in close so you can see all the freckles. Now, I will always display it this way. The other side is not as um, not as cute, that's for sure. I will be displaying it this way. This was also $1.99, and it looks like it was handmade by somebody with very good writing. That is impressive to me. But I just thought this was such a cute little piece. Obviously, this side forward, but it has that little like pouring out spot, the little spout. And I just thought that was a beautiful white color and I've been really into mixing browns and whites. That's kind of my aesthetic. And then we have a few more pieces of art that I found in the bins. In my dining area against the wall, right behind my table are these three prints that I just think are so cute. They actually might be hand drawn. They're three different stems and flowers and they're all uh, different flowers, but also just in different configurations. I thought they were really cool and I kind of like that style. I don't love the frame itself, but I hung them up. I got them in the bins. I paid less than $5 for all three of them. And for anything like that, even from like Target, you're gonna be looking more at like 50 to $75 for that kind of art. So definitely a great price. And then the other piece is this really cute vintage strawberry. I don't even know what you would call this. It's not cross stitched, but it is more of like a fabric feel to the actual image itself and it says strawberry on it and it has this little strawberry plant and I love the little gold ring at the top where you can hang it. Right now I have it on my other bookshelf in my living area, but I am obsessed with it. I think it gives some good height to the space, but I also just love the color of it. I love the strawberries. It's very spring and summer and I think it's adorable. I found that in the bins. So I paid probably less than a dollar for that. And it's one of my favorite pieces of art I've thrifted recently. It doesn't really match with the vibe of my gallery wall in my filming room, but I like it where it is and I think it looks good on that shelf. Okay, now at Second Avenue Thrift, the same day that I thrifted that amazing piece of art with a really ornate frame, I found the mother load of brass candlestick holders. These are gorgeous. I bought so many of them. I didn't even think twice about it. I was like, yep, uh-huh. I use these all over my house, but also if I ever want to decorate some other, somebody else's space, it would be nice to have some extras of these. This one, I actually own the exact same one. It's behind you right now, but it is this really nice kind of darker brass candlestick holder. And this one turns so you can take off the different pieces. This was $1.99 and it was made in India. Then we have this little one that was 99 cents. Another small one, a lot of these do come off, but this one was $1.99. This one has a little bit more of ornate things engraved into the bottom here. And then we have this one, which is more of like a fluted style for $1.99. And then these are my favorite ones. These ones I was really excited about. I love the little twirliness of the stem of these. And again, they all turn, but these are both $1.99. Look at the age on that one. I love that one. I think that's so cute. So, whoop. so I love the color of these. That is definitely my vibe. And so I can add these anywhere in my home and I will love them, I'm sure. I love even just placing these without a candlestick in them. I just think that they're gorgeous. So I got all of those at Second Avenue Thrift along with this little bag of candlesticks. So this was $1.99. I think that the purple might've been on sale that day. So I think I paid a little bit less than $2. I'm not quite sure, I don't really remember, but I thought for four candlesticks, that was not bad. They're all just like a creamy white color. And again, like I was saying, I really am liking brown and white. <laughs> Browns, whites, gold, kind of copper, that kind of field of color I think is really classy. So I grabbed those candlesticks and those can go inside those candlestick holders 
or I can use them for ones that I already have, but I just thought those were pretty. And then we have this really exciting piece. I love this. And usually when I'm out thrifting, I send tons of pictures of things to Jeremy to see if he likes them before I just, you know, bring them into our home. Cause I could bring home a lot of things you guys, but I found this and this is a piece that Jeremy said he loved as well. So he and I super into globes. I love globes. I think they're so cool, but I don't normally find them in a style that I like. I have my big standing globe back there in the corner that you guys have seen in other videos. Um, but this one is also in my style. I love that one. I love this one. I don't know why it opens. Whoa. I don't know why it opens. If you guys know why it opens, please let me know. Is this a planter? I'm not exactly sure. Or maybe you can just hide stuff in it. I don't know. I don't really care about that feature. I do think it's really cool. And this was made in Japan. As you get closer, it's like, just like paper on top here. So I don't know if it's the most well-made piece, but this is real wood. And I love the turning on the little legs, but the price is still on here. This was $5.99 at the Second Avenue Thrift. So of course I had to buy it. It's so gorgeous. So love this. Again, not sure where I'm putting it yet, but hopefully we'll have an update here for you guys in a little bit of where I ended up putting all these pieces. Is this not so cool for $6? Love it. And then not too long ago, I picked up some really pretty books from an antique mall. I got them all for a really good price. And a lot of them were like art style books and I've used them to decorate my shelves. I found another one that I thought was just absolutely stunning. And that would be this painting book as well. This was only $1.99. This is from the, the Metropolitan Museum of Art and it's the artist Pierre Paul Proudhon. And I have never actually heard of this person, but I was flipping through and I saw all these different pieces of art and I am so into art and I'm so into just like the creative process and love, love books that are cool like this. So I grabbed this to decorate with and also to flip through. It's a good coffee table book too, I think. So I have this piece, $1.99, definitely a great investment for a nice book like this. I'm sure that this was quite expensive originally because it is a very nice feeling book too. So grab that. And then I have these two picture frames, which I think are so cute. This first one I got, you guessed it, at Second Avenue Thrift. I love this kind of rounded, thick gold edge to it. Again, definitely, hello, there's me in the camera. Um, but definitely such a fun vibe to this. Like it definitely is not what everybody is liking right now. I'm not super into like a very farmhousey vibe. I like things that are more like old. <laughs> I like things that look a little bit older. This was made in Korea and this was supposed to be $3.99, but it was half off, so I got it for $2. And then this one I got from my local ReStore the other day. It's for Habitat for Humanity. That's what the ReStore art works with. But I really, really like this one too. I love the embellishment and like just the kind of like intricate detailing here on the edges especially. It is really giving me like a 1920s Great Gatsby kind of vibe. And I love that. <laughs> so I grabbed that for 25 cents at Restore. All of their frames were super, super affordable. That's also, I got this at the same time. I got the large painting. Large paintings, not as affordable, but their little frames were really, really priced gray, right, I thought. So got that for 25 cents and this one for $2. And I think even together, even together, they're a great vibe. And I just got a lot of pictures of Jeremy and I printed out from our wedding, from our engagement photos, because we have no pictures of us hung up really in our house. So I'm making a gallery wall of us on the stairs. If you guys wanna see that, let me know. But um, I have some pictures printed out so I can fill these pretty quickly, which is great. So those are the pieces that I've been picking up and thrifting lately for my home. I am really liking the vibe that I'm creating. It's taking a while to figure out what my kind of sense of style is but I do feel like it's a really good mixture of kind of vintage and boho. I really like texture and grit. And I like that some things have something wrong with them. Like I don't want a perfect pristine house that looks like it came straight out of like a Macy's catalog, you know, like that's not my vibe. I want some things that are more curated that have a little bit of a story to them. That's what I like. So if you guys like that too, then make sure you guys follow along with my journey. I'm happy to have you here. If you want more thrifted home decor videos, then let me know. Let me know down below what pieces you guys have been finding for your home recently. I love hearing about your guys' finds. That is so much fun for 
me to read about. So if you found something really cool lately that you're excited about, I want to hear about it. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.